Magic City, Birmingham police are hitting the streets to address crime concerns in the community. Tonight, CBS 42 News reporter Cameron Edgeworth is riding with them as they visited different neighborhoods tonight on National Night Out. He's live from the East Precinct tonight. Cameron, good evening. Good evening, Jack, and police say they feel they're making a difference with how they're responding to crimes now and making sure their presence is known in the community. 223, can you help me out on a signal 90? Birmingham Police Patrol Officer Truman Fitzgerald says the police department's relationship with the community is one of the most important things for cutting back on crime. The biggest thing is just we, we've got to have a relationship with each other. There's no way that we can exist and solve the city of Birmingham's crime issues if we don't work together. Fitzgerald spent Tuesday evening visiting neighborhoods in Huffman and Roebuck for National Night Out. One concern for many community members is crime prevention. Fitzgerald says the department is improving how they respond to incidents to help. These hot calls, as we call them, that are going out and officers are responding to them. There's not just one officer, there's not just two officers, there's three, four. So we're really trying our best to just flood the streets with just more officer presence and really just, you know, hit these streets hard to try to prevent the crimes. One of the stops was on Westwood Drive in North Roebuck where neighbors are concerned about recent crimes and late night gunfire happening in the neighborhood. Uh, we had a death on the street and we take it very seriously. We're so sorry for her family. Uh, and what, what happened down here, and uh, we're going to make sure that this doesn't happen in our community uh, again. Winona High School student Ariel Parker Jeffries was shot and killed on the street last month. Chuck Hines with the North Roebuck Neighborhood Association says he hopes the community can work with police to make the area a safer place. Now, police also visited neighborhoods with low crime rates like Zion City and Dalton and Price. Now, police do want to remind people that if you see something, you should always say something to cut back on crime in your area. Reporting live in Birmingham, Cameron Edgeworth, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.